This is how not to put your transmission back in. There are three 14 millimeter head bolts uh, that uh, hold it in. It's one 14 millimeter head bolt here in the bottom of the transmission. One goes in from the other side, from the passenger side. We're looking in from the uh, passenger side. This is where the axle goes in. And this bolt right here holds the transmission. It would be very easy to forget. And uh, if you did forget and started prying on stuff, you would very easily break that tab. Looking from the front of the car, there's one there, and then one on the other side. There's one in underneath this radiator hose here. Holds a bracket on as well. And there's one in the center of the transmission here. There's a the coil pack straight in here also holds a bracket on for the wiring harness the easiest way to go about taking it off you can take this one big one out that goes in through this hole i've got the bolt in as you can see it's rubber mounted so as i try to tighten it it's just flopping around got all three of these bolts in and uh now i just need to tighten them up once we got all three of these tightened up to go back with the 19 and tighten up that guy. When we go to tighten this up, it's not all flopping around because it's attached to the transmission now. So I've got the plug out here. What I'll end up doing is adding oil through the um, speedometer drive and uh, until it comes out here it drains down into this oil pan and that's how I know that it's full. Before I do that I'm going to pop these axles back in. Get the ball joint back into the spindle. Grab the brake disc and rotate it and make sure that the axle is actually engaging with the transmission. This is extremely hard to do one-handed. Use the bottom ball joint as a pivot and uh, rock it forward. Oh, and there, it just went in. So now my axle's in. That is the speedometer drive. It should be quite easy to get oil in there, where it wouldn't be quite easy to get oil in through the side of the uh, level hole. So there we have it. The oil is coming out. That means there's enough in there. Okay, so it's been a week since I had a look at this. I'm going to try to see if I remember anything now. I seem to remember. I have to put this mount back on the transmission. I have to put the speedometer drive in because that's where I put the oil in through and then I have to hook up this shifting linkage. Freaky yeah, Princess Auto! Probably a good idea if I don't tighten these bolts up all the way before I get the transmission mount swung over into place and lined up. This is going to have to go over and line up here. But I left this loose a little bit so that this will line up easy. That just falls in there. Uh, 
There we go. The oil level plug is up in there. Well, yeah, like I'm saying, not very easy to get at. So yeah, I don't want to tighten this up too tight. It uh, is just plastic. Look up, see if I can see my ugly face up here. Oh, there I am. Oh, bye. And there's that. And then we'll come back up out of there. And see where it was. Way down in there. This is a sir clip. And our C clip. It goes on in that groove once it's in the shift linkage. And then there's a pin that goes through here. After I stopped filming it went a little better. Uh, still a little tricky but we got it propped in place. Now the pin that I took out will slide in the uh, linkage. Get a hold of this tab here. Pull it out. Get a hold of the other one. And pull it out. This whole pin comes out. And then the shift linkage comes out. There we have it. I undid this little snap thing on there. It'll just pop on maybe now. Ah, there we go. And then do up the clip on the end. Now our shifting is all done. Okay, so this is the little uh, coupler uh, slash bleeder thing that hooks up to the slave cylinder line. It's got a little clip in there. There's the piece that it goes on there. So you just take it and push it on. Do not try to break the bleed screw loose when it's attached uh, to the quick connect nipple thing. It'll probably break. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. No good excuse for that to be that tight. Okay, so oh, we pump her a bunch of times. Push it down. Jam the stick in against the seat. Come around here. Crack open the bleed screw. Oh, and a bunch of foamy looking gross brake fluid comes out. Tighten her back up there. Go back in. Pump it again. We just keep doing that until there's good feel to it and uh, not a lot of air coming out. 